टाइटल ऑफ दिस पोएम इज दे लिटिल गर्ल पेरेंट्स दे लिसन टू आर हाफ फॉर्म्ड वर्ड्स आईज ग्लीमिंग विथ प्राइड from the first smiles to gurgles to ma and dada to learn each syllable on them we relied oh but now the daily phone call home has become a chore calling parents every single day is tougher than talking for hours to the girl next door they'd watch every cartoon with us and listen to every nursery rhyme they'd buy cassettes full of jingles cartoons on the tv even at prime time but think about it when was the last time you watched something with them have you listened to any music together or shared a poem we'd fight with our siblings to play on mom or dad's phone they'd give it to us thoughtlessly after all we are their whole world but can you imagine parents using our phones will you let them have a peek our phones have an entire world we don't want them to know about so we continue the hide and seek aren't we all so grown up we want them to treat us like adults but where is your safest happy place resting my head on mom's lap is when i'm a kid again we want them to treat us like adults but when dad gets me a present the next day after an argument i'm a kid again when i fall asleep watching a tv show they don't understand dad wraps a blanket around me while i'm dreaming of drug cartels and gangs I'm a kid again. With all this in mind, there's just one thing I'd like to ask. Do our parents really know us? How well do they know our dreams, our vague and preposterous ideas, or even our obsession with memes? I don't know what's worse, the fact that our parents don't know us, or the fact that they are convinced they do how could our parents know us when we hide ourselves like two sides of a coin we have a private side they don't know about at all the two sides can never combine this side of the coin this other side of me truly lives in the few moments with friends or maybe even with strangers like thee that's when she's truly free oh but not at home if you're going through an emotional crisis parents are the last ones you tell you always comfort them ensure that they don't know oh mom i'm completely fine and well yeah mom i've eaten yes mom it's just a cold yeah mom i'll do it yeah of course mom we are just friends Yes mom it's just dinner so many questions mom yes i reached home i'm going to bed they protected us from the world shielded us from being the prey they bandaged our scraped knees and gave us the tools to build ourselves as we are today but we didn't just build ourselves we also built these walls that keep us from them and them from us we drew the line where the curtain falls and now we are protecting them from what we have become now we know more about worldly things of roll joints and mixed drinks are we hiding from them or are we protecting them from what we have become I don't know what's worse. I find it easier to tell a hundred strangers that I love my parents, but I don't remember the last time I said it in their presence. Instead, when I want to tell my parents I love you, I feel like a stranger too. 
Is there righteousness wrong or are our wrongs right? Is there anything wrong at all or are they just being paranoid? Is there a balance? Can it be found? Doesn't even does it even exist or are we just circling around? If I break those walls and let my parents in. If I let the curtains fall to show them what's within. If I remove all that protects them from me and let them see, will I still be their little girl like I used to be? Thank you.